Hello, in this video I would like to give you a quick tutorial on how to create an invitation in Canva but using some custom text that you can drag and drop um, like gold textures into or any pattern into. So I've just opened up an invitation portrait size. So just open up a blank one from your main menu and then I'm just going to grab it doesn't matter that it says pro because we're only going to be taking some text. So basically, I'm just removing here. I'm just going to highlight all of this and make it black for now just so I can see it. All right. So this bit and this bit are the bits I'm going to change because the name will change depending on you know, who it's for. So let's just change this text to. Now these are texts that I have uploaded, so you probably won't have these, but I'm just going to show you how it all works and you can use whatever text you like. So that's that one and then let's change this one to happy birthday. And even this Jamie's one, that's a a pro font so let's just change that so we don't need that so basically if you sell a template and you use an uploaded font uh, the customer will still be able to use it in that template but if you use a pro one they'll have to pay for it okay so that'll do for now all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these and put these into a separate document. So just open up another invitation portrait or any document, doesn't matter, and we're just going to paste them in. Then we are going to download this. And this is where you need to have a pro account. We're going to download it as an SVG file with a transparent background. So tick that. Download. Now we are going to open up PowerPoint. So it automatically, when you open it, will come up with a blank slide. So let's just delete that. And that's completely blank. Now we're going to go up the top to insert. And we're going to go to pictures from this device. And we're just going to insert what we just saved. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do here, now that it's appeared, is you want to right click and you want to go convert to shape. Okay, and I'm not going to touch it because I don't want any of those to separate. Now we're going to go up the top to where it says shape fill. And we're going to go down to picture. Now, you can insert anything you like into this. Um, I have got gold or rose gold here. So I'm just going to go with rose gold. Okay, and then we click away from it, and that has changed to rose gold. So now, to save this and get this back into our design, we're just going to go with File, Save As. Let's just go rose I'm going to save it to download so that I can find it easy. Now we are not. Sorry, that was silly. Okay, so we're not going to leave it as PowerPoint presentation. We're going to change that to PDF. Save. Now we're going to jump back to Canva. And we're going to go to. The uploads folder. I'm going to click upload. And we're going to find that file and click open. Successfully open, so it should be in all your design. So click on there. And now we have it here. Just open it up. I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on group. So you can 
see there. It's got the rose gold in it. Now you can actually put whatever you like. Once it's in here, it's now a frame. So you could go okay, put some gold and you could change it to gold. So once once you've actually got the frame, you can reuse it for any different design that you like. Oops, drag that one properly. There yeah, you get the idea. Just gonna come back out. Okay, so now I'm just going to go Control C and take that back to uh, invitation over here. I'm just going to delete those ones and then hit Control V. Make that a bit smaller. Okay, that fits. Okay, position backwards, and we can. Change this text, you can say so then if you want to change colors to try and match in, you can. Um, and then you're just fine to start doing your um, decorating of your invitation. So if you wanted to do rose gold, maybe go to element and go. See what comes up, maybe save and static. I can find something that would look nice in the invitation. Sometimes this process takes a while. But even for now, if you want to do something like that, and you could just make it more transparent, just get rid of the background. But you get the idea. That thing. You're just fiddling. If it was someone that really likes rose gold, maybe you could do rose gold flower. You could probably just make that a bit smaller. Okay, so there's a simple birthday invitation with custom text. So I hope that that helps you with some designing. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. Um, it might even be easier with black on the background. That yeah, probably looks a bit better and then just change the to white. I couldn't help myself, I had to keep the blue. Okay, it might look a bit better. Yeah, this custom text, you can, once you've got it set up, you can drag and drop patterns in, um, any photos of any colors, um, like ocean colors, anything like that, you can drag and drop. So I just wanted to show you how that was done. And if you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll come back to you. All right, have a fantastic day. Thank you.